seven of wands, feeling defensive or uh, willing to fight for something. Two different messages there. Ace of Cups in the reverse. All right. So something, an Eight of, okay. Something here hasn't gone uh, quite the way you wanted it in love. Uh, it could be that someone here is trying to walk out on you and you're trying to fight for the relationship or you're trying to remain strong. It could be that someone wants to return and you're trying to resist them. All right, you're putting boundaries um, that are very, very solid here, uh, perhaps because you want to protect yourself from this person. They may have hurt you in the past. Yeah, I feel like this is fighting for love. You know, that's really romantic. I feel like you are trying to keep hope alive here. You're trying to make sure this person <laughs> doesn't get away, Aquarius. Okay. And, and you're pretty determined. I think you are very solid on your beliefs that this person uh, is yours and that you need to protect them or fight for them. You don't want this love to disappear. You don't want this love to fizzle. All right. You don't want to lose this connection. Now, it's a general reading, so this could be the other person's energy. Someone here is willing to fight for you. Someone here is... Uh, uh, does, don't want to lose you. Okay. Present situation, recent past, eight of wands, and the ace of swords. So we have the seven and eight of wands. So this is a, definitely something that's unfolding or has been unfolding. All right. You, you wanted someone to take action and they did. You wanted to hear from someone and they did, uh, reach out to you. You wanted that communication and you got that communication with the Ace of Swords. Okay. So whatever effort you're making here to get something that you want, it has been working or is working. Okay. Uh, you may be traveling or you have traveled somewhere. Uh, you've gained a pretty good perspective and clarity on a situation. There's passionate communication taking place here, very transparent, passionate. You may be falling for someone here very hard. This could even be an ex, you know, reaching out to you for the first time in a while. And uh, you, you may, um, you know, you may be trying to clarify some things here with this person. But there's definitely movement here in this connection that nothing is necessarily stagnant. There are things happening and it's on. It's on. This is something that's unfolding, something it's being said or something is going to be said that relates to a relationship or to people um, communicating. So in mid-August, I see, you know, more communication stuff. Uh, the Seven of Swords, sorry, Six of Swords is a card of communication. All right. It's from, it's improvements in communication. It's moving forward with better communication and more clarity, but it's in the reverse. And then we have the, Ace, uh, the Two of Pentacles, which is about choice and needing to make a decision or juggling uh, situations. Someone here may be, may be juggling to people and they're not necessarily talking to you about it or they're needing to make a decision between two people, but the communication isn't clear and they're not necessarily moving that direction. Okay. So I feel like it's two different. It is reading maybe for two sets of Aquariuses, the ones that are um, moving forward in communication with someone. And things are quite clear and transparent and passionate. And then there's another one here where there's some uh, issue with the communication, not necessarily improving. And someone here juggling two people or not being able to make a situation about moving forward. All right. Then we have the King of Cups. This is water energy, Scorpio. And we have Libra. 
okay but it could be definitely another sign of course this is just the energy of the cards that i'm seeing the king of cups in the reverse is someone who's detached someone who is no longer in love or someone who is unable to uh, have feelings for someone and the queen of swords is someone who is quite uh, blunt and straightforward this may be a situation where someone definitely wants the clarity wants the communication to improve want things to be done the right way but then someone else here is the will is lacking you know this other person doesn't necessarily it's not necessarily all there this person may be coming across as cold and distant and they just can't make up their mind about you or they can't make up their mind about the situation i see you here though kind of moving forward you know, kind of saying, you know what, okay, well, you're going to act like that. You're going to be cold and distant and you're not going to make up your mind about where this is going. Well, guess what? I'm going to create some boundaries here for myself to protect myself. And I'm going to move forward with my life. I'm going to try to build connections that are sincere. Okay. Because someone, again, is, is not offering emotion they're not offering love they are in their head about choosing you or um, not making some sort of decision that will make will be important for this connection i feel like someone in the end will just walk away will just say you know what i'm gonna tell you how i feel i'm gonna tell you how it is and goodbye you know, someone is fed up, no longer want to take more crap, no longer want to be dealing with someone who doesn't know what they want, and then you decide to walk away, all right? But then again, there is a, 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 another message here for a set of Aquarius is where uh, communication seems, seems to be going well, or maybe the communication between you and this person was good at some point, but then it deteriorated. If you haven't done so yet, please hit like. Thank you so much. Subscribe to my channel. Leave me comments. Let me know how you're doing, Capricorn. In love. Let me know about any complications because there seems to be some something here that it's not quite simple. And again, if you want a private reading, please go to maxfromyoutube.com to check out my website. Okay, yeah, so definitely leaving something behind, something that hasn't worked. Just being fed up, ready to move on. Ace of Pentacles, yeah. Maybe you've been offered, you've seen an opportunity with someone else, and now you're tired of fighting. You're tired of dealing with this person who resists you, who is cold and distant, who wants you when they want you, and when they don't want you, you don't hear from them. This person you feel cannot necessarily give you the relationship that you want. They can't necessarily give you any solidity. I feel like there are times when you just don't want to tell them how you feel. But I feel like you will. I think you're going to develop or come up with the strength and energy to just say how you feel. You know. Say your piece. Because you're no, you're no longer wanting to be in this energy. You want to put this behind. You want to have real opportunities. Real opportunities for relationships. And I know that you have feelings for this person. And I know that it may be painful to leave them, right? But this is what you're going to have to do if, if you really are looking for a relationship. You're going to have to leave this other person behind. Okay? Not saying that they may not come around. They may come around in the future. But for now, they're just acting quite cold and distant. And they can't make up their mind about you. And not only that, they can't necessarily tell you that. But I feel that you're going to open up. You're going to say all these feelings and emotions that you've been keeping to yourself. And then you're just going to walk out. 
in search of something new, in search of something better. You're standing up for yourself. Aquarius, and I think that's, that's good. <laughs>